Hello everyone, and welcome back to All Things Space. Absolute zero is the lowest possible temperature in the universe. Nothing gets colder than that. So if the whole Earth suddenly went down to the most cold temperature for even 5 seconds, it would cause a lot of harm. So, what if Earth's temperature decreases to absolute zero for 5 seconds? Keep watching this video to find out the exact sequence of events that would unfold in such a scenario. But before we begin, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Can human beings cause big changes in the Earth's climate? As much as we'd like to think that human activity has no impact on the Earth's climate, this is just not true. Every year, the temperature of our planet hits new records, and as you know, this is unlikely to result in anything positive for us. That a change in the gas composition of the atmosphere, which leads to an increase in the greenhouse effect, is thought to be the primary cause of global warming. The greenhouse effect is a rise in the temperature of the Earth's lower atmosphere, relative to the effective temperature, which is the temperature of the planet's thermal radiation as seen from space. Human activity does the most damage to the environment. Natural causes like volcanic emissions and solar activity contribute to the greenhouse effect, but they can't compete with the massive quantity of fossil fuels, burnt, and numerous industrial activities. Carbon dioxide is the gas with the longest lifespan in the Earth's atmosphere. China is now the largest producer of carbon dioxide. What exactly would an absolute zero temperature feel like? Just how cold is absolute zero? What would happen to your own body at this temperature? And what would be the greatest thing about it? Temperature is how we measure kinetic energy of the particles in an item. Simply said, it tells us how rapidly atoms, molecules, and particles travel. The hotter a gas, liquid, or solid becomes, the quicker the particles travel. And as that movement slows down, the colder the material gets. At the lowest temperature imaginable, or absolute zero, particles cease moving entirely. This is because at zero Kelvin, or minus 273.15 C, minus 459.67 Fahrenheit, no heat energy remains. The lowest ground temperature known on Earth, 184K, or minus 89.2 degrees C, or minus 128.6 degrees F, was measured in Antarctica in 1983. But it doesn't even get close to absolute zero. Even the coldest known spot in the whole universe, the Boomerang Nebula, 5,000 light years distant from the Earth, is only a touch warmer at 1K, or minus 272 degrees C, minus 458 degrees F. The absolute zero temperature would affect us on an atomic level. So are you ready for the coldest 5 seconds ever? At room temperature, the pleasant range of temperatures is around 293K. The air molecules travel at an average speed of 1800 kilometers per hour, 1118 miles per hour. As the temperature on Earth suddenly plunged, all those particles would slow down. At 0 .00001 Kelvin, the atomic particles would be traveling at a speed of around 0.18 kilometers per hour, 0.11 miles per hour. That's 1000 times slower than their speed at the ambient temperature. Getting this near to absolute zero, all chemical processes would be closer and closer to coming to a total halt. This would be incredibly terrible news for you and everything else on Earth. We would be changing the chemistry of our planet. Chemical processes are responsible for everything, including how your brain connects with your body. Without the millions of chemical processes happening inside of you, you wouldn't be able to breathe or transform food into fuel. Temperatures approaching absolute zero would be devastatingly cold. Even at a fairly hot 77K, you'd be in great danger. That's the temperature of liquid nitrogen. After a few seconds of exposure to this temperature, you'd suffer severe burns, blisters, and frostbite. Needing a toe or ten severed might be a sure possibility, so only five seconds of absolute zero might wreak huge quantities of harm to all life forms on Earth. But I have wonderful news! The chemical processes wouldn't come to a complete stop. Even at the near absolute zero temperature of the boomerang nebula, chemical processes do still seem to take place. This is owing to the bizarre consequences of quantum physics. And once quantum physics is involved, things become strange. With all the atoms on Earth at a near standstill, you'd find them beginning to cluster together. Absolute zero would cause all your atoms to turn into a single atom. Atoms, as they cluster together at the absolute zero temperature, would start to produce a state of matter known as a Bose-Einstein condensate. 
This would indicate that every atom is in the same energy state and practically similar to one another from a physical point of view. They'd start to act as a single atom. And if you could become a Bose-Einstein condensate, that would be really fantastic. For that short five seconds, you'd have some unique physical features, like superfluidity. You'd be able to glide through microscopic fissures without any friction. Only there wouldn't be any cracks, since you wouldn't be the only superfluid object on the globe. However, there's a catch to this. Only when bosons are chilled to temperatures very close to absolute zero can Bose-Einstein condensates be created. Atoms that are considered to be bosons always have an even number of electrons. This indicates that just a subset of the atoms in your body and in the environment around you have the potential to form a Bose-Einstein condensate. And it's a good thing for you too, since achieving a temperature of zero degrees Fahrenheit wouldn't be conceivable. Our planet would start absorbing heat from outer space. If the temperature of Earth and everything on it dropped to absolute zero, the planet would immediately begin to draw heat from the space surrounding it. Even if you could maintain a temperature of zero Kelvin for only five seconds, it would need an unlimited number of resources to do so. Due to this fact, it cannot be done numerically. However, this does not negate the fact that five seconds of temperatures extremely close to absolute zero would be sufficient to ruin almost anything. And nothing, absolutely nothing, would ever come back together again from the chaotic jumble of atoms that both you and the whole world would turn into. At present, we are headed in the opposite direction. As enticing and scary as it sounds to drop the planet's temperatures to absolute zero, we are in more hot waters than we realize at the moment. We are quickly headed in the opposite direction as every year, the temperature continues to increase drastically. Global warming's repercussions are very discouraging for mankind. The world's seas will rise, precipitation patterns will shift, and natural catastrophes like floods, droughts, and storms will become more common. Longer growing seasons may potentially result in lower food yields in certain nations. Many animals that are currently endangered may go extinct as a result of global warming. What is the danger posed by global warming? The Federal Hydrometeorological Center emphasizes a few key issues. First, as previously said, there's a chance of lengthy droughts in certain areas and floods in others, both of which are very hazardous to agriculture. Second, it raises the risk of forest fires. Third, when permafrost degrades, there's a danger of harm to structures and communications erected in the area. Fourth, other species may replace certain species. Finally, we anticipate a considerable rise in power use for air conditioning in many areas throughout the summer season. However, there are certain advantages to global warming in Russia. It will be able to relocate agricultural limits to the north of the nation, resulting in an increase in agricultural acreage. We will need less energy for heating throughout the cold months. The navigation duration on the northern sea route will also expand dramatically as a consequence of warming. With that, we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoyed the content, then do leave a like. So until next time, take care and goodbye.